Hey, what's up guys? Deadpool here. and Today, I will be showing you how to configure Amor V5. Alright, so the thing I'll be showing you today on is how to configure Amor V5 legit bot. So, uh, let's hop into it. So, since I have a rifle in my hand, we'll uh, start with configuring the rifles. So, <laughs> okay, the first step to configuring the rifle is making sure that you have all your things perfect. So, right now, I'm going to reset this one. Yeah, no, uh, okay, you guys know what I meant. I said the first step to making your rifle perfect is by making sure everything's... Alright, what, whatever. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure everything is good with your recoil. Make sure you're not snapping too much. All, all those types of uh, things, you know? Okay, so the, uh, the default rifle configuration for recoil control is 50 and 100. The minimum FOV range is 1, 1-ish. And it is f like seven. It's like pretty blatant. And this is like okay. So as you can see, with default settings, you snap a lot. You snap a lot, and you're blatant. From the second you put your finger down on the trigger. Okay. So the way you're gonna fix your snapping, first of all, is go into minimum FOV range, turn that down to zero, and maximum FOV range down to two. So what these FOV ranges do is minimum is the minimum amount away you have to be for the aimbot to work. You don't want that because if you're super close, you want the aimbot to still be taking over. Maximum is ha the max amount of way far away you're allowed to be from the character before the aimbot will snap onto it. So you don't want to be able to be all the way out there and then it'll snap or all the way out here and then it'll snap. You want to be all right, right around here. This will help you look a lot more legit. Now, second of all, you're going to want to turn down first shot delay. This means from the second you pull down the trigger to when your aimbot kicks in. You want your aimbot to kick in instantly. You don't want it to snap to him and then start shooting. So look, this is going to right there, it's going to instantly start shooting right there. Now smoothness is just how legit your aimbot looks. So with all these settings, it looks pretty legit already. But our problem is we still have no recoil control. So to fix our recoil control issue... We're going to put this all the way up to 75-ish. And we're going to keep the vertical recoil at 100. So recoil control system is, will it control the recoil while aimbot is active? Okay. So it's good that it, uh, that it keeps it when it's active. The standalone system is when you're not aiming at a character, how does your recoil control look? And you see, it pulls down even when I'm not aiming at a character. So basically, this recoil control helps you with the spray down. Here's a couple examples of spray downs. You can see as we're shooting at them, our gun is going down. Like that. That's a spray down. So now for aimbot, since you're using an AK, or really any rifle, they have a lot of recoil. So you're going to want your chest to be your first spot, and your head is your second spot. This means, hopefully... Your aim bottle go towards the chest and your recoil pattern will carry up towards the head to get a headshot. Here's an example of that happening. Maybe not. Right? Right? <laughs> okay, I'm embarrassing myself. See? Headshot. So you will hear a couple, at least a couple of headshots sting with this. Yeah, see? The, the gun goes up and hits their head. And the head, headshots are good because it's almost an instant death. Okay? Nextly, I'm going to show you how to configure snipers. So the default sniper settings for this is going to have this as number one and all that. But no, you want a gun like the op to be on chest. Even even the uh, scout, you want that to be set to chest as your first priority and your head as your second. Okay? Because your chest, even with an op, is going to be a one-shot kill. Now, weapons, you don't need to worry about recoil. It's, it's a sniper. Okay? Smooth factor, you can leave it too. It looks pretty legit. That's default. The only thing you have to change is minimum FOV range. You're going to want this down to zero. It starts at one, which means that if you aim right there, aimbot's not going to kick in. But now, if you're right there, aimbot will kick in. Now, you're going to want to turn maximum FOV range down from four or five, or whatever it is. See? Because this is snapping all the way out there, or it's trying to snap. Even though it, it sucks. That's why you don't use it. So you're going to turn that down to 2. And the 
starting first shot to lift for this is 140 or 150 milliseconds. Notice how that slaps before it shoots. You don't want it to snap before it shoots. Okay, you want it to shoot and snap at the same time. This, like, pretty much eliminates the whole thing. You would have to have your Overwatch reviewer go into slow motion to catch this, and no one, no, no Overwatch reviewer wants to do that. Especially if it doesn't look like you're cheating immediately. Okay? If you just look like a good player, they're, they're not going to put you in slow motion. They're going to think, oh, this was a false report. Trust me, I'm an Overwatch on my uh, main account. I know how they do it, and they're all lazy, like me. Okay, so now that you got your snipers configured, I'm going to show you how to configure your pistols, because that's the other important. I'm not going to show you how to configure every single gun, because uh, that would take forever. So the default pistol settings have no recoil control whatsoever. Like, these things are switched on, but trust me, it looks... That's what it looks like. See, your pistol keeps going up and messing, and then maybe eventually it'll go down. So you definitely want recoil control on. This will pull down the pistol as it shoots. So it's like a pistol spray down. Okay, let's go with an accurate one. See? You'll, uh, th this, that'll help you hit. Also, you're still going to want to fix your minimum FOV range, because if you keep it at the stock 1, and you're all the way really close there, all the way really close there, aimbot's not really going to want to kick in. It'll kick into, like, the hand or something like that, but that's not going to do a lot of damage, especially with a pistol. So, oh, hold on. Well, I didn't even have it on 1, so that's why. So you're going to put that on 1. And now look, you're, you're there, aimbot doesn't do anything, so you need to turn this all the way down to zero, and you need to make sure that this isn't on five, because this will try to snap even when you're all the way out there. You don't want that to happen, that looks super blatant, so you're going to want to turn that down to two. Next, your first shot delay automatically comes at like 110 milliseconds. See? You see how that snaps before it even shoots? No! Put that into 20. See? Now that it's down to 20, it'll look like one fluid motion and you'll look legit. Now the whole point of this video is showing you how to configure a legit bot so you won't get banned by Overwatch, by the way. So if you, uh, if you missed that, yeah, uh, that's the point of the video. Okay, so now getting into the visuals section. I would recommend turning off seeing people through walls, okay? I'm going to show you how to see people through walls. But to look legit, I'd have only visible chams on. That means that you won't be able to see people until they're visible, and then when they're visible, it'll highlight them. So I start by turning off my teammate at ESP because you don't need to know where your teammates are, like ever, because the game already has built-in teammate at ESP pretty much. So this is going to show you where they are through the walls using the box overlay, as you can see demonstrated on this character right here. He has the box overlay. Box precision. That's going to make your... Box look more uh, legit. Not not legit, but pre well, precise. That's why it's called precision. Um, name, health, bar. All this is really opinion. Or you could just have box all the way off together because you can do it on champs. This will show you. This will show you if the person's diffused, scoped, or flashed. It'll let you know all that through the wall. This will have a timer on the C4, so you'll know if you'll have enough time to stick it or not. This will draw the name of the weapon and highlight it. So now going into local. This is third person toggle. It'll be on none. I set mine to V. So now you guys can see people through. Uh, so now you guys can see in third person. This is more of a rage setting. So you don't really need it. Um, but yeah, it's there if you uh, want it. World. This is hit markers and sounds. Let me show you how it looks without hit markers or sounds. So you won't hear anything. But now if you turn on hit markers and sounds. Right there. You'll hear the little... Here. You hear that ding? That's the hit marker. You don't even need the sounds on. That uh, displays sounds on screen with ESP. There's the hit markers. I personally like having sounds on. Okay, so now with chams. Occluded means you'll be able to see them through walls. So you see if I crouch, it highlights his foot. Or if I crouch here, it highlights all the way up to uh, his pelvis. So, I'm going to show you how to make your chams be visible only. So, if you don't want to be able to see them through walls, you're going to want to turn this off. See, now when I crouch, you won't be able to see them because there's a wall there. I recommend doing this if you're, not, if you're trying to be as not obvious as possible. If you're trying to definitely not get Overwatch banned. I'm not promising you won't get Overwatch banned. But um, this will help you out 
drastically. Now, however, if you do want to see them through walls, see, crouch, you can still see them. This is visible. If you want to have no walls whatsoever, no help, you turn this off. And when they're visible, they won't have any SP there. And then you'll just turn off the boxes also. So now, uh, so basically, when you first inject this cheat, it's going to have with these color, right? That's the stock settings. So this looks like absolute dog shit, though. I'm going to be honest. So you're going to want to change this to either glow, which, uh, which looks a lot better. Metallic also looks better. Invisible. You got textured. I mean, all these, all these look better, but color is terrible. Okay, so there's glow. And uh, skin changer's not in the game yet. All this is no scope, no lines. So, look, if I go into my sniper, all the lines and scopes are gone. So this is what it looks like when I scope in. See, I'm, as you can see, I'm actually scoped. But the lines aren't there. So, uh... Yeah, I can't even aim like this. This is more of a rage setting, so I don't recommend using it at all. Then you also have no sky, which takes away the sky. No fog, which takes off the fog. No post-processing, which takes away the post-processing. No flash, which means you don't get flash. No smoke, which means you can see through smoke. Anti-OBS for you guys that want to stream and make you your stream viewers make you think that you're good. But in reality, you're not, so you use cheats. You turn that on, and they can't see you anymore. Crosshair. Gives you a sniper crosshair. Radar gives you a radar. Um, so radar will actually only work when you're in a game with other online players like uh, MM or casual. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Now I will show you some of the miscellaneous. You have fake lag, which is a rage setting. Fake latency, which is basically fake lag. Chat spam, which will spam it with aim word on that. Invisible name, make your name invisible. Clan tag changer, which will uh, change your clan tag. Uh, so movement, you have auto jump. Perfect does not look legit at all. This will easily get detected by Overwatch. They will know your B hop scripting. Now legit, hence the name legit, looks pretty legit. This looks doable. You can easily do this. Okay. Now, I recommend having it off completely, but legit looks all right. Now, when you go to general, this will show ranks of people. This will show who's spectating you so you know if someone's watching you or not. Player list, this is a list of players. Again, these features will only work when you're in a game with other online players. This reveals ranks. I think I already went over this. This is anti-untrusted, so this is anti-getting you vac banned. So, uh, overall, that's it when it comes to configuring aimware. Uh, if you guys want to see me configure RageBot and you guys need a tutorial for configuring RageBot, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed, leave a like and subscription. If you didn't, leave a dislike and uh, go away from my channel forever. And that's about all I have to say, really. Uh, again, if you need help configuring Rage, let me know in the comments because I'll be happy to make a video on how to configure RageBot. At the end of the day, it's been a pleasure talking to you, and uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See ya.